I may be a bit a little bit older, but I'm wise and credibility to show rakyat in uh, Sarawak, my constituents in Batu Kita. Alnis may be young, but if he's young and smart and he has done a lot of things for the people, I would respect him as well. You know, I would encourage him further. I have not seen anything good that Aziz Isa has done for the constituency of Batu Kita. What has Aziz done? What has he said apart from packs of lies? What has he said that is so good that will propel Sarawak or the Batu Kita constituency? I believe that our voters today has adapted the way that DAP tries to politicize and win votes. Our voters have learned and understand that DAP incites people. It doesn't matter whether it's truth or lies. As long as they can incite people and create hatred of people against the government. We in Sarawak do not believe in such kind of politics. Unfortunately, our young people tend to get attuned and, and like this kind of politics and gimmicks, like the old saying goes like, we can trick some people some of the time, but we cannot trick the whole community, the whole of Sarawak, all the time. And I believe this is the time that our people start to realize that Adina is the kind of leader that we want to lead Sarawak. Aziz Isa is certainly the opposite and not the kind of leader that we in Sarawak would want to lead Sarawak. I don't know what would happen if Aziz Isa were to lead Sarawak. Aziz Isa wants to be the CM of Sarawak. How ridiculous uh, can it be? And he cursed our Chief Minister of Sarawak and said he had Bohut, 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 Bohut. Uh. You understand what I mean? A boy at his age, with no mannerism at all, no respect for the elders and leaders, I wonder how he speaks to his uh, own parents and siblings, and how he treats his own parents and siblings. If he doesn't even know how to respect other people, is this the kind of leader that Sarawakians want? Certainly not this kind of chief minister that we want.